Hi there Booktube, this is Emma from Emma's Bookish Lifestyle, this is my little monster Drogo and today I'm going to do a very quick book review um, in regard to a book I received from the publisher Simon Schuster, Kill the Father. Uh, this is a translated fiction from Sandro Dazieri who is Italian and it was, oh sorry I forget who translated it. Anthony Sugar translated it. Now this is a thriller. Um, it's got some quite heart-wrenching sort of child implications in it. So if you're not a lover of a thriller that has backstory with with obviously child kidnapping, then I wouldn't recommend this for you. This isn't one for you. However, as a first book, I was um, this is not his first book ever. He's written quite a few, but this is the first book that he's obviously had translated into um, English and been released in the UK. And as a first book, I was really very impressed. Um, often thrillers, I find, can be a bit formulaic, can be a bit um, predictable at times. Um, sometimes they give too much away so that by the time you come to that sort of surprising twist at the end, you're like, I kind of knew that. 30, 40 pages ago. Um, this one didn't. Almost too much the other way. Almost to the point where sometimes you were just like, give me a hint. Give me a hint of something that's coming up. Give me a hint of why this particular item is, you know, linked or related to the story in any kind of way whatsoever. Um, although that was the case, it was so fast paced, um, predominantly through the book. I mean, there was only a couple of sort of dry patches where really they were kind of trying to piece things together. Um, actually, it was quite refreshing to have that lack of knowledge. Um, it also meant towards the end of the book, the last sort of 100 pages, that everything started to come to light. And even up to the last 30 pages, when you thought everything had been concluded and there could be nothing else happen, another twist happened. So it was an extraordinary book, something that I really enjoyed. Um, I wouldn't say it was 100% a five-star book for me. Um, I find it difficult to give any thriller a five-star um, unless it absolutely blows my socks off. But one of the things that really, truly made it a, a sort of fourth maybe four and a half star read, were the two lead characters. Um, and one was a police officer who was on leave due to an event that had happened in her life, and that is um, Deputy Chief Columba. That was her name, Deputy Chief. Um, and she's an amazingly strong female character, which not just because she was aggressive either that's kind of the other thing I liked about her she sort of had a gentleness and an emotive femininity to her but she was strong and well respected within her position in the police force she had the respect of her colleagues and um, it wasn't like some thrillers where it was kind of she just had to be bullish um, she had a facet about her that was different to most thriller women. Uh, also what I liked about it was uh, the second character, main character, which was her sort of pseudo partner in this, Dante. He'd had quite um, a connected past um, with the case that they were looking into. We delve into that. We delve into his um, childhood we, we delve into his personality and actually it was quite nice to see a man with foibles, a man who will own up to weakness um, and to show his weakness. He didn't shy away from that and I really respected that by the author. I thought it was really, really good that for once this role almost like a role reversal in books, but yeah, this kind of role reversal had happened and it showed that, you know, not only can women be strong, but men can equally be emotive and affected by events in their life and have reactions to events in their life which make them feel 
you know, upset, devastated, um, reactionary. And so this is definitely a four star read. It's Kill the Father. I believe it's now out in the bookshops for purchase. Highly, highly recommend it. Can't recommend it enough. And would definitely say to you, if you like a really good thriller, this, to me, it even wiped the floor with things like Girl on a Train, which I only really gave three stars to. Um, it was original, and that's what I liked about it. And the translation by Anthony Shah, um, Shagar, sorry, um, was fantastic. You wouldn't have known it was translated. You would have thought it was written in, in um, English first hand. So, highly recommend it. Uh, look forward to speaking to you soon, BookTube. I've got a couple of other videos I'm going to record today. Uh, things are really manic at work, um, just to touch base. And uh, I've finally managed to get rid of my book funk. So, um, I'm hoping and looking forward to progressing a bit more this week with some of my reading. Anyway, take care, BookTube. Speak soon. Bye for now.